if you want to record screen and record yourself at the same time like this like this or like this it's not difficult and it can be done in one tech you don't need heavy tunes or equipment in this video i will guide you three easiest way to record yourself your screen at the same time with free tunes no watermark available on windows and mac os let's get started we will come to the first tune free available on mac quick time player so if i want to record my presentations having my webcam at the same time on mac so i would go to for the menu icon quick time player in here and then i go to file then click new screen recording so the recording toolbar won't appear i will choose to record my entire screen then hit record so as you see there's more icon in here this means the screen now is recorded now i want to add my face too i go to file then choose new movie recording and now you will see my face here if i want to my webcam stay on top of my screen recording so i i go to view then choose float on top and then i can toggle my background you will see the magic here that is virtual one if i want to switch to my real one that is and i can toggle to my virtual one like this and then i won't hit recording like this and then i won't do my presentations as normally when done i will stop my movie recording first and then stop my screen recording later and here here is the final outlook you can see that is me stay on top of the screen recording and also doing the presentations that's how you can set up to record screen and yourself at the same time personally i think quicktime player is suitable for recording only because the edit feature here it is not really much they only trimming the videos and if you want to cut a part inside the video it is really hard so if you want to have more features of a video editor then you have to come to the tool number three active presenter i will present it later in the video if you want to record yourself presenting powerpoint then you cannot miss record with powerpoint features you can utilize the recording features in powerpoint by go to the recording and click record slideshow in here that is the the screen recording of the powerpoint and also my webcam in here and uh, you can hit the record button in here and then hit screen recording it's going to have several seconds to count out and when recording you can add annotations for example draw it on your slide and uh, maybe and also highlight it yes and when end you can stop recording in here click end show and then you will see your recording also it is embedded in the slide like this okay you can only trim the videos with not much of the editing features if you want to have a tune to both record screen on window and mac os and still have full functions of editing features then you cannot miss active presenter if you want to record screen with or without presentations either on mac or window versions you always can choose active presenter as you can see here there are two download versions for windows and for mac on the website and i will put the download link in the description for you to decide and then we can see at the start page here we can start to record screen at video i will move to my presentations for example here i can choose uh, the full screen or customize it for example i choose full hd version so you can see this is a recording handle here but i won't go for full screen for 2k resolutions and that is my webcam i can turn on or turn off like this and choose my audio input in here 
okay change the volume and then hit recording so it won't have several seconds to count down and then i won't present my my files and my presentations as normally for example like talking to the computers and then when end i press ctrl end on the window and also command option 2 for mac versions this is the final outlook as you can see here it will have many layers the first one is the video layer which is my screen recorded and the second one is my webcam and also my audio in here active presenter can go an extra mile to edit video and also webcam at the same time for example if there is a range that you don't want to exist you want to delete it so you choose a range and click delete range that's it so it's still like a full video but it is actually edited inside and also you may want to speed up a part of the video okay so go select that range and change your playback speech to maybe two times faster like this and also you can edit your webcam i don't want to make it so square i want to train it to rectangle so i will crop it to shape with rounded rectangle yes and for example if in the presentations i would have my mouse click or mouse highlight and i can train it in here immediately i choose my screen record go to the cursor effects cursor highlight then i choose circle you can see in here maybe i make it bigger to 86 then you can see my cursor highlight in here at the click effects automatically then choose the mark click in here yes very convenient and for example the video record it's too long i can split it into another slide like split slide so it is like split it in another video and i want to export a part just a part of the long video in here so i right click and then save slash video so it is very convenient and sometimes you just need to export a part of the video for reviewing purposes so that you can save your time save your quality file size each tool will have its own advantage and disadvantages so you can try it out on your own to find out the best suitable one for you However, for convenience, I still recommend you to use a tool that can record screen, record yourself and edit video. So you don't have to switch back and forth, jumping around many tunes to protect your time and video quality. Don't forget to like, subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Bye!